Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Cubby Blue for Life's Let's Play series, Red Dead Redemption 2. I am Cubby Blue for Life and we are kind of hanging out in camp for a minute. Uh, I gotta go find some, get some of this stew. Uh, good evening. Last episode, uh, we ended up playing some poker. Saved the, saved uh, the Reverend from getting his butt whooped. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. Um, and brought him back. He was sleeping out at his table. Uh, last I saw, or at his bed. This is where food. This should be the the stew pot. It said afternoons. Oh, here, take some stew. For some reason, it wasn't letting me do it. Evening. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pierce. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. All right, let's head this way and start the next quest. There's... Hey, Arthur. What's up? Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but... Ain't no boat to see. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him and you can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. <sighs> okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. You okay, boy? Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. <laughs> yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. The 
They're still very hot. Need to be done right. Yeah. A couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Good morning. What the hell? Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Stabling your horse allows you to store it at the stable so you can access it later. If you sell the horse, we'll be sold the price. Uh, let's sell it. I guess since we're, uh, oops. Since that's our, our name, we'll go with Cubby. Use attack and services. Blankets really don't matter. Federal don't matter. Services, folders. A horse reviver. We'll buy All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All 
All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Are you going to mount that new horse of yours or not? Yeah, give me a second. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. Okay. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's John. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Where, how far are we going now? Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Stone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. The horse course ran over time. Feed your horse, replenish his course. Hold all one and press R1 to select the horse. We'll. Uh, Think about Sean. You reckon he's all right? Who knows? I sure hope so. But it's been a while now. Somebody said he got knocked out in Blackwater. Yeah. I just don't know if he was picked up or picked off. Or got away. If there's one thing Sean McGuire's good at, it's wriggling out of things. Yeah. Guess we don't know nothing till we know. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. <laughs> Stupid. I 
tell you, some this game just doesn't like doing certain things. Got me self a jackrabbit. Good job. All right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well then you get a set up. Set up camp. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> View the crafting menu. No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Let's cook up. Oh, let's cook up a couple of them. We'll cook one more. I think I got five total. Or I'll cook all five. I'll still three and eat two. I don't know if the second one's going to do anything. Uh. Get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. I'm sure he is. You have nothing to worry about, Arthur. Arthur. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Of course. There you go. Coffee's coffee. Everybody needs to have a little coffee in the morning. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. How are you getting on with okay. that? Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Leave Come the on. camp. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever 
Think about getting out of the lot? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. All but right. Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Sorry, girl. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. All right. I thought I heard him earlier, but you know, of course it's not going to go with the game. Poop. Wait a minute. Oh, a fish. I'm on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Let's keep going. <coughs> Excuse me. Oop, we found something else. Another big paw print, maybe? Something else. Oop, on nope, the poop. Just here. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. I swear I hear something. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. More or less. Big scar down his face. 
Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. That's all I got right now is... Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. He's gonna come out. The bear is gonna come out. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. The bear is going to attack us. Got your knife? Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I don't mind either way. I'm coming with you. Let's get going then. I figured I could attack him, but I don't know if I'm going to have the gun to be able to do it. Because I don't think a revolver is going to take him out. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Yep. And with that, that is the end of episode 5. I would like to thank you for being here watching and hanging out. If you haven't hit that subscription button yet, I do recommend hitting that button so you get notifications of when all my videos go live. If you don't want to hit that subscription button, that's perfectly fine. Hit, leave a comment or a like, and that will be that will suffice. So again, I want to thank you for being here, and as always, game on!